Hey first graders, I hope you had a great Easter. We're back. We're going to talk about the ED sound on the end of words and ING sound on the end of words. So let's get started. Okay, first we're going to talk about when we add ED to the end of a word. Now when we add this to the end of the word, it can say more than one thing. So one of the sounds it can say is D. Another sound is ED. And another sound is T. So the word will have one will have this ending, and then that ending could either say d, ed, or t on the end. So let's think of some words. Let's see if we can figure out which sound this has. Ooh, this has one of our sounds from last week. Okay, so let's sound this word out. Let's blend it. Sound, sound. So what does that ending say on the end of there? You got it. It says Ed sounded. Good. Let's try this one. Magic E there making this say its name. Rake. Raked. You're right. We raked the yard. That has the t sound at the end. So this one must have the d sound. Let's try it. This is going to say its name. I. T. Er. I. D. Tried. Good, there's a d sound on the end. So when we add that ed ending, it can make different sounds on the end. Okay, so now the other one we have, we said when we add ing to the end, ing, ing. Okay, so we wouldn't say this ing, we would say ing, just like it's one sound together. Okay, so for example, I'll just use my word from over on the other side, raking, raking, okay? So now, there's no magic E there, but this I is taking the place of that E, and it's still making that A say its name, raking, raking. Okay, so when we add ing to a word that ends in E, for example, like, um rake and we want to add ing we drop the e and add the ing okay if it doesn't end in a word like in an e like jump we just put ing on the end okay so now when we put ed on these words let's take a look at them okay let's look at rake Okay, we don't add another ED here. Nope, we don't do that. It already has an E on the end, so we just put a D. Okay, now with sound, you can see that we put ED on the end. So that's ending in that consonant, so we're going to go ahead and put that. Now sometimes that Y, because this was try, changes to an I, and then we add ED. Okay, but we're not going to have two E's together there. Now, sometimes our vowel in a word is not saying its name. When it is saying its sound, we put another ending letter, P, and then add ED. Stopped. Stopped. All right, you guys did great with that. Remember, the important things to remember is ED can say D, ED, and T, and ING says ING. So quickly, I want you to see if you can remember our sounds from last week. What do A, U, and A, W say? You're right, they say AW, like AW, you're in love. Okay, what about O, Y, and O, I? You got it, Roy the droid. They say oi. That's kind of a fun sound to say, like boy and toy and noise. Okay, what about these guys? O-U and O-W. You got it. They're like in mouse and cow. And so they say ow. All right. Okay, guys, I have an activity for you today. Okay, and it's practicing using that ED and ING sound. Okay, so what you would do is you get yourself two buckets or two bowls.
Okay, let me show you mine. And I've marked one ED, and I've marked one ING. And then you get yourself a little ball. I just got my little cheese ball here. And I'm going to toss it at the ball, bowls. And whichever one it is, your mom or dad is going to give you a word, and you have to put that ending on. So if they give you jump, you would say jumped. If it went in there and they gave you jump, you would say jumping. All right, guys, you did great today. We will see you tomorrow. Bye.